forward to seeing. I'm not commentating this set like this if it's like this the whole time, by the way. I, you have a, every opportunity to get up and leave. I will if it's like this. <laughs> Is this the headphones or the stream? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Ryan's trying to fix it. <laughs> he took 80. Oh, Bayonetta combos. Yeah. Be my chair. Got it. Okay. I don't go play Smash. You don't play games. Oh, 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 all right, so I'm actually solo commentating. My man could not stand the left ear audio. Anyways, so we got we got Emerald with the whole stock lead. I think generally Mr. E's plan here is going to be to do a lot of uh, neutral or center stage control and a lot of uh, RCO-like punishing, but so far Emerald's made it very hard to do so. Very tricky, nice. Nice recovery from Mr. E. Preemptive up B does not work. We got the lovely user sitting down to commentate with him. Hello? Oh god. Hello? This is so weird. I'm having like one. I have audio it's, from it's one left ear. Audio. Ugh, yeah. this is disgusting. Okay. Yeah, that's why he got up. That's why Chris got up. That's fair. It's gonna... Wow, Armor really has a. Stock on you right now. Yeah, he is kind of. He's doing a lot of bail stuff, and it's working out very well. What a forward smash. Ooh, what the Not only did he read the air dodge, but he also read that he was going to drift back to the ledge. That was incredible. Amaryllis was such a huge lead right now. And, like, honestly, this is actually, like, such a bad position for you because, like, Lucina doesn't really have too much for, like, to mount the comeback. Ooh, yeah, a lot like, of it's just, like,. Center control, really. Nice. Yeah. Good man. Wow, that dealt 12%? Or. Not it's... the bullets, he got it before that. Okay. Damage. Little BMB. Mash is out, interesting. Wow, I think he went for a mix up there. I think, yeah, I think he wanted to reset the combo, but instead he uh, gets neutral alert. Yeah, look at that. He's, he's not he's allowing E to really get any sort of neutral control started because he's mixing up where he wants to land really well. Yeah. There's definitely one thing that uh, like both Bayonetta and Amaryllis can do really well. For sure. They just both, like, they just complement each other. They're so slippery. What are you yeah. going to do about it? Oh, that down tilt was really scary. I'm surprised he didn't go for, like, another down tilt or, like, anything else. Oh, boy. Uh, Ryan. Oh. Are we good? Hello? No, I'm still, I still got that left ear audio. But. Okay. All right, All right, that's what matters. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I, no, I still hear. I. It was just like it just went blank a little bit. All right, all right, all right. nice, Ooh. nice. Pop the air dodge. So you want to air dodge immediately because Amaryllis jumps so that he has the option right. to shoot immediately, but instead he just waits to bait the air dodge and react to it with the charge shots, and that does kill switch. It's very, very strong. I wonder what stage we're gonna go to. I imagine Amaryllis banned, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, hey, oh I my have, god, it works. It, it I have both ear audio now. Woo! Let's go. Oh, oh I have no Why? audio now. Okay. All right, there we go. We're doing a little bit of trolling. <laughs> uh, I literally just missed what stage. He makes Bayo look, look hype. hype. Bayo is hype. Bayo cool. can't. Bayo can be hype. Good Bayo is very, very cool. Bad Bayo is just like, okay, cool, you did 80 to me, now you're gonna like F smash randomly and like struggle to take the stock. Good yes. Bayo is so sick. Good Bayo, like a lot of good Bayo is just like edge guarding as well. But yes. like, we're not gonna see a lot of that here. Because uh, Lucina is very hard to contest off stage. Alright. Gonna go to small battlefield here. Nice. Even though I took the head, it didn't matter. Yeah. I'll be, I think she'll both Nice SDI on the combos. Good reaction on Ethan. Great patience. Reacts to the spot dodge with the neutraler. Nicely done. This this is where E thrives. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's just, he is just known for his ledge trapping though. Like he is. It's very hard to get off the ledge uh, against him, unless you're like quick attack Pikachu or like anything else. And even then, he's still able to like get so much percent off. Ooh. 
Squato back here. Again, meaning that they're gonna drift towards the ledge. Because the uh, the bad player, or not really the bad player, but the level one thing to do there is to drift into stage because it's a lot harder for you to die there. And so the level two response is to recognize that and drift away and drift to the ledge. But the level three response is to recognize that that's gonna happen and to punish that and actually get the kill. So very, very good condition. I wonder why he went for the jump there. Oh! That sucks. No. I oh. assume he probably meant to do forward air, but got the downer. Yeah, safe recovery, bro. Uh -oh. No punish on the up tilt, but a down throw and nothing to avail. I think, uh, I think, uh, what's it called? I think small battlefield's actually working out a lot here for you. For sure. It's just like it's it's enough room to play neutral, but it's also small enough to chase the Amaryllis down. Nice. I feel like we're gonna see a shield break soon. That's kind of how I feel. I feel like Amaryllis is starting to hit the gas a little too hard right now. Maybe. Or but he's also doing a much better job of slowing him down. That's true. Yeah, I think he read that, but he was uh, a little slow on the punish. Just comes up and throws it. What the heck? Ooh, I like that one. Alive. Classic oh, Yeah. Yeah, he read he was going to be right below the ledge. He has not. Yeah, okay. Finally gets back here. Finally, Emerald gets stuck. I think at this point, you're not really looking to win the game. You're just looking to establish the momentum going into the third one. Yeah. And, like, he's starting to, starting to move a little better now. Starting to move a little crisper. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and, oh he messed up his combo and he might die for it. Delayed up air, back nope. air, up air. He's it's still so hard to get off the platform versus Lucina. Yeah, he's still holding on to that shield break button. He is. I don't. Okay, yeah, that was a risky. Yeah, he got up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deserved. He was really, really trying to fly out there, and I understand it because he really needed to get that early kill on E, so it made sense. Um, but like I said, he got he established a little bit of momentum going into game three. Probably feels a little better about it now than he would have if he got three stock. Yeah. So it's not like all that amounted to nothing. It establishes just a little bit in your mental. And so definitely uh, definitely not a bad way for things to go for Amaryllis. Now we're going into game three. I'm very happy about this event. Quite a fun set to watch, in my opinion. The winner of this has to play PK, Chris. Yes. Uh, that is gonna be another Long Island moment. <laughs> I don't I know this. Like, hmm? I feel like Mr. E probably has. I'm trying to think about both of them versus PK Chris, and I feel like he's the safer pick, you know. <laughs> but I think Emeralds definitely is also like extremely, extremely good at uh, at edge guarding, so it's you know could go either way. Either way, we got Game Three coming on. Alos, interesting decision. Alos, this is very interesting. Yeah, Mr. E is like, whenever he's in the air, he's doing it when he's retreating because he doesn't want to get anti or ABK. Very smart so far. I wonder if Amaryllis is like playing for. Oh, my, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. The parry on the ABK was nuts. The parry on the back air was really good, too. Is it back back? Probably not intentional. Oh, I think Amaryllis definitely was ready for that air dodge, but he just barely missed it. Nice cross up from me. I love the way how Amarels is playing, like, because, like, he just goes for chip sometimes. He just gets, like, a quick, you know, 2 and 3%, and then he just goes in. I like, I don't know. Forza. Well. Side beat? Wow. Is Dancing Blade faster than F Smash? No. Actually, maybe. I know that's not frame 10. So yeah, that's, that's, oh. that's what that's a pretty classic uh, ledge or uh, kill setup for Lucina. Very, very hard to land that tech, and even if you do, it covers a lot of tech options. Yeah. It's just, it's just such a fast move, and then you get put into the like tech situation super quickly. Oh my SDI. Oh, no. He's fine. Okay, nice. He ended up behind him after that fair. Yeah, look at E not pushing the issue ever. He's just staying and keeping center in a very intelligent way. I'm surprised that there didn't kill. Tried to two-frame with the downer. Good idea, but it didn't work. 
Emerald is a little bit slow on a lot of punishments, to be honest. Like, he's baiting out a lot of the right stuff and just not getting all the punishments that he wants. Emerald is just holding stage so well, then. He found that very sneaky up there. Now, yeah, he has to find a way back in, but here's where he really excels. Even against a character like Bayonetta, who just has so much options, so many options to be, like, slippery and elusive, but, like, he just back finds here. a way. Ooh, great awareness. Yeah, see, look at how much slower Emerald is taking this now when he's at, uh, when he's at the ledge. Where, yeah, he... MS3 is tracking him really well. He still hasn't pulled the trigger on the, the shield breaker yet. Well, there's no reason to now. I mean, he's got 150. Yeah, but I think if, you pull, if you're going to pull it out, you want to pull it out in a percent where nothing else is going to kill. Up throw. Oh, really? Ooh, Grab release. Interesting. No forward throw. Nice reaction to the side with the back air. Amarillo's on tournament stock. But he gets a heal slide. That's exactly what uh -oh. he won. 45. The whiff punish on the fair. Good SDI. I'll beat him. He's still keeping it up though. Oh and my it's god. Still going. He's at 94 100. Down it, right? Oh. Quarter. Yeah, he that's lives. not going to count. Yeah. He got 133 right now. Yeah, that was like a uncontested 133, but this again, you know, it's been said a million times, this is the hard part. Can you kill? Jab may have been buffed, but I actually don't think Jab kills here at Ledge. It does. I don't know, the sides do be big. Like they do be. Actually. Preemptive? Oh, nice! Down! The dive kick was so smart there. Honestly, I think it kills now. Just nice. You have like a little bit yeah. of All right. He got pretty greedy on that uh, double jump above the ledge. I mean, Amarillos can definitely rack up the percent as we just saw, but like. Yeah, but oh my god, he DI'd up! He wasn't ready for the down tilt, though. Dude, he's so slippery, but oh. it doesn't matter. He's alive, actually. He's alive. Maybe it does matter. That could be the difference right there. Yeah. Another, another just ledger release. Uh, grab it's, pretty, release. it's pretty smart, to be honest. Ball clang. Mix up the timing. Nice. Now, what's your plan? Ooh, a sneaky roll. Roll in was so good. Oh, he was ready. Oh, eh. Doesn't jump. Yeah, he can't jump too much here. Mishiri Couple of neutral get-ups in a row, you're absolutely right, but like, Mystery hasn't been reacting to it with Uppy. He's been uh, reacting to it a lot with Grab, which isn't going to kill. Oh, he shields the move, but nothing to avail. This is so bad for Amarillo. okay. Quick 40. I honestly thought... He oh, might the Uppy! That's... It, this is it, right? No, oh, this no I thought it was going to up tilt. I thought he was going to F-tilt. It's so hard not to ABK here. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's so hard. Uh -huh. It is it's so, so hard. hard not to it ABK is so hard. <laughs> and that's why. And that's why. <laughs>